I'm Shelton Wilder, and welcome to Wilder Possibilities Podcast, where each episode follows an entrepreneur's journey into the transformative power of that light bulb moment where everything clicks. I call that the click. Those pivotal points that redefine our futures, illuminate paths to success, and even change the world. Now let's get wilder. Hi friends, welcome back to another episode of Wilder Possibilities. And I have one of my fave friends and my photographer, and her name is Molly Marler. Thank you for having me. Yes, I'm so happy for you to be here and talk about your life and your photography and when you got the click. Mm -hmm. That's what the whole episode's Mm -hmm. about, kind of, but just really the whole journey because you're also from the South and you moved out here and how it all began. Yes. Okay, so let's just start and then then we'll... Talk about your new business. Yes. Well, okay. so I am from Atlanta, as you know, and um, I've always been that friend who was taking pictures, like at parties or at family gatherings. I'm always like the annoying person, like trying to get everyone in to take a picture to capture the yes. moment. Yes. And then I think um, after having kids really was when I started to notice, okay, I really need to like capture this moment and like lock it in there. Yes. And I was always obsessively taking pictures of my kids as babies. And then I had some friends ask me to take pictures of their kids and their families and how it goes. And it was really Malibu. Like the whole community was so supportive and still to this day. Oh, amazing. Yes. Yes. Um, and then you obviously Mm -hmm. my biggest supporter and referral source and like the (laughs) best. If you can get a Shelton Wilder endorsement. Like, literally, <laughs> you can't beat it. Um, you can't. You can't. Beat, I really do go hard. You do. If you're, like, if you're on my team, you, you you're, ride, babe. I am, I am going hard for and you. And I, I am so grateful for that, <laughs> literally, because having, and I work with mostly women. Yes. I shoot everything from, like, families to events to women to men to entrepreneurs, weddings, brands, like all the things. Yes, yeah, brands, yes. headshots, product photography, like beauty, mm-hmm. editorials, whatever. And um, it's so fun and I love it so much. And yeah. it just like is one of those things where I, at this point now, can't stop myself. Like I'll be, like I'm always, you know, with my phone, I'm always click, click, click. Like I just can't help it. I need to get better about like making TikToks and that kind of stuff because I'm not quite on your level yet. But well, I just have you to have a Natalie. I mean, <laughs> you know, oh my god! I, I mean, I could. It's it's so much work. It's, I it's get a embarrassed whole job. though. I make them and then I'm like, you oh get really funny TikToks sometimes, but then I delete them because my kids are like, mom, you take them off. <laughs> Sometimes. They like go, mom. That's yeah, so cringe. She's like, that's coming up on my friends for you page. I cannot. It's so embarrassing. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> okay. Cool. Cool. Sorry, babe. Sorry. Um, yeah, not that cool. Actually, thought I was. Mm, no. That is so funny. Yeah. yeah. So. Okay. Yeah, but I really had, um, as with other jobs in my life, I have to say, like I've had a mentor who really helped. I mean, you're also someone who I have to say is like a mentor to me, but like I had a mentor come in when I was really starting the business of making, like working as a photographer. Well, wor- say, yeah, because it's, it's a, yeah. You're, you're an entrepreneur. Yes. That's what it is. Yes. I mean, that's what. Like, for yourself. Yes. Your this own whole business. podcast is about entrepreneurs and when you get the click and yeah, and how you're still making it work. I mean, yeah. it's a, it's a, it's. A lot. It, it is do. a lot, especially yeah. when you're a mother and mm-hmm. you are a wife and a friend and all mm-hmm. the things. And then, or for anyone, it's difficult. But like when you are ADHD, like myself and um, Capricorn, and get, like, oh my God. Yeah. yeah. The Capricorn, which is totally like, I might want to do all these things. And I'm like so ambitious. Yes. And I love it so much. But then I also fully am like, oh, squirrel. Like, you know what I mean? Like it's very like something shiny oh, over here. And then I also volunteer at the schools doing stuff for the kids and like you know it's a lot but um but I wouldn't treat it for the world I'm so grateful and I love it um because it allows me to make my own schedule really and Mm -hmm. do what I love and be creative and I love working with women mostly because obviously we're amazing and uh, (laughs) it's so fun that we're amazing and I just think um working with other entrepreneurs like we get it and we're all kind of on the same page and we're all hustling and it's exciting and I love LA and yeah. You know, although I do travel, so there's that. That's fun. But um yeah. Yeah, I think that having a mentor though really helped me through that first year. When when did that start? When that was, when, when would you say you started like professionally doing yes, it? Yes. Cuz I had done it for people for a long time, but I think it was 2012. Okay. Which is 12 years ago. God, that's insane. Um 
And I had a mentor that whole previous year take me on like a bunch of, he was a family friend. And were you he, like the, an assistant? Yeah. He's like, a, his he like, like, he was like, can you, I'm coming to LA. Can you help me find some locations to shoot? Oh, this yeah. is what I'm thinking. And I was like, sure. And I asked around and I'd only been here like a year. And my, I asked some girlfriends, I was like, oh, I heard this friend has a beautiful home. Would she, you know, do you think she would let me shoot there? And they're like, oh yeah, of course, just ask her. She's great. And I asked her and she was Is that lovely. become your best friend? No. Well, we, we, we did shoot the, yeah, you know that one, but this yeah. was before that. Oh, well. I show, I'd never been to her house and I roll up with him to the address and it was a $45 million home. And that was a long time ago. It was 14 years ago or 13 <laughs> oh years ago. God. It was massive on oh, wow. PCH on the water. And yeah. I was like, holy. I didn't know what I was like. That I was, was like, casual. Yeah. That I'm was... acting like I did it on purpose. Like, here oh you go. God. You asked for a house I deliver. Great. Yeah. Made me look amazing. But I also just, so we had a, a great time. I was second shooter wow. that day and then a couple other shoots. And then he kind of just took me along and we, I shot like alongside and he would, you know, coach me on things. But I also felt like, cause I worked with a lot of models that first year. And so I did a lot of like, I was mothery to them because I was kind of like making sure they felt safe and protected with because they were, I was working with him and this other male photographer oh it's like a whole thing you know yeah like they're very respectful and kind but I was still like you like know. I'm mama bear yeah 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 but um after that I kind of went off on my own and I've done a couple of shows and I really like have a huge mile-long to-do list of like art shows I want to do and books that I want to make and all the things oh wow because I haven't been selling a lot of prints, but I have a huge library of things I need to to actually sell just like art-wise. I, didn't even, wise. I yeah. didn't even know that. Like what sort of... Yeah, like Gray Mullen, I'm coming for you. Oh, oh, oh. There. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I know. You have a, his, so much... His oh, work. oh, like our whole house. He's Gray Mayling. Yeah. I mean, Mayling. Oops. Oh, well, I mean... He's incredible. Yeah. I mean, like the marketing and the things he's been able to do are so yeah. genius. But, um, but yeah, it's... It's a blast. It's really, really fun. And I love doing it. And I'll never stop doing it. Well, I feel I like your thing is. that makes you so good at it is the people part of it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think working with people and photographing people is like my favorite thing. Because I really see the beauty in each person. And even though I don't love looking at pictures of myself, I can still see it. And I'm like, okay, that's a good one. Whatever. But yeah. <laughs> every person has so much beauty inside yeah. them. And if they allow themselves to be seen... Which obviously you're a pro. Well, oh, I'm always like, get out there, <laughs> so just good. be seen because you have to do it. And yeah, I think, I especially yeah. nowadays, if you are an entrepreneur, you have to have content. It's a whole thing. Yes, and got to um, put yourself out you there. You do. You have to be brave and just do it. And if you find a photographer that you trust, it's so important. And like, and not only that, but just even if you're not an entrepreneur, if you're just a family. I mean, I've had so many friends be like, I've never had professional shots oh. taken with my family, and I'm like. Yeah. You have to fix that right now. Like, I'll yeah. be there in five. Like, I, you know, so I think having those memories printed also is really yeah. important because you can keep them, look back on them. Your kids can look back on them. And so anyways, it's, I can, but it's yes, a blast. Yes, I, I know. It. You do love it. Okay, so that was 2012. Then you started doing, and then you started doing kind of like family photo shoots. Yeah, I started with families. And then I kind of had people be like, do you do, and, I, and it still happens. I'll be like, do you do headshots? Do you, you know, at our last gathering, I just had a bunch of women ask me if I did X, Y, Z. And I'm like, yes, I do. I oh, do okay. All. See? Well, I, good. I should niche down, but I really don't want to. No. Because again, like the ADHD, yeah. I just can't. And I get bored or like if I'm told to like do one thing, that's like not going to work for me. Yeah. Just you like to. Like and also you can kind of spread things around and like yeah yeah i mean our our boys literally oh my god were a, like but they, they found out so okay so lane when he was seven years old he found out that there was a thing called being a model and he was like wait 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 and he didn't realize he was already no, one no like, i on. well but with out. you but he was like you can get paid <laughs> to look adorable to do and smile photos. i have to do photos for mommy for free all the time <laughs> I, yes, dad, sign me up. I'd like to do that. Yes. I, uh, yes, please. we were like, okay. And then, yeah. And so, there's a star now. Well, oh, so, no. I mean, there's it, that. It's, it's, but it's good training. Yeah. And yes. Yeah. And he's, they're so polite and they're I able know. to like sit and do what they're, because I mean, it, we've been doing it since, I mean, yeah. Lane's, Lane's first photo shoot when he was one day old. We, you came to the hospital. I did. That was so outrageous. People were like you're unhinged. No, and you look. And incredible. I was like, I don't care because I. Well, and you looked incredible, and now we have those photos <laughs> of you forever, forever with the pearls. And like, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I wish I'd yeah. got to do that. I, yeah, because when I gave birth with in my grandmother's pearls, I like, was oh, fabulous. <laughs> it was fabulous, and guess what? 
Uh, most people don't do that. And neither did I, because I was literally not. Because you couldn't have done it for yourself. But mm-hmm. yeah. But well, also, I just, w- yeah, no, I was a different kind of mother giving birth than you were, but it's fine. Um, I was <laughs> not looking as cute as you are, but those boys, man, they know exactly what to do and they listen and they pay attention and they smile. I mean, most young people and kids especially are so fun to photograph because they really like can have fun in front of the camera and they don't really, they don't yeah, have they're not the, like worried. self-conscious yeah. things that yeah. we do. And most young adults even are amazing at it now because they've grown up with it and they're so used to well, it. Well, it's a camera in our face all the time. I mean, yeah. I, I, you know, I, I do that. Yeah. You know, yeah. we, we have all these good great it. photos and memories. I mean, my Dropbox is full is. with all, all these great, I mean, I don't, I don't know why I love it so much, but it's, well, it's important. I think, I think that because you- I don't have a lot of photos when I was little. Oh, really? And I think that that actually, I didn't realize that until right now. I think that is why I'm so obsessed with family photos because I try to go find some to post because since my mom's passed Mm -hmm. and I'll be like oh well let's find some of my mom and I like have the same three photos I post oh my god and that's like absurd yeah so it's it's, because it was a different time we don't have as many yeah but we did I mean I did family shoots a couple times growing up I remember there was like a lady um in our town who would do it and like you'd go to her backyard and you would go to like and then the senior portrait lady Oh, oh, in our oh, town, yeah. hysterical. She had like stations, and there was like a swing with like the ivy on it, and you would stand there and do that. And one. then, the and then there was like a bridge, and then a tree. Yes, there. yes. And now my senior portrait sessions are a little different. And yes, that's, that's okay. Yeah, and they they all what what are they like? Um, it really just depends on the kid. I think I love seniors. I'm obsessed, probably because that's you know where yeah, my well, you kids have are. Your daughter. I mean, just I mean, just yeah. graduated, yeah. and it's like insane, but. I think it's such a cool time in their lives and like being able to like capture them on the cusp of like adulthood. But I really like to kind of capture each kid's vibe. So like if you have, I mean, a surfer kid in Malibu who I've, you know, gotten to know, okay, let's go do some shots in the water. Let's go do some stuff like Mm. around town in the mountains. Um, We've done some, this one kid who's really into vintage cars and he has a really cool vintage car. So we did some stuff with his car. Oh, and then so you really tailor it. I'm like, yeah, yeah. And then the girls are really fun and they know exactly what they're doing. And my God, they come, they did not come to play. Those young <laughs> men are like, it's unreal. Like they know exact, they know the angles, they know all the things. And I'm always like, it's so fun. Cause like, yeah, it's makes my job so easy, but it's really, it's, they've been they're pra- all really they've fun. Been practicing. Yes. They know yeah. their stuff, man. Although I'm told by my children that I don't know how to take Instagram pictures anymore because that's a thing. The teens take them very differently. Like what does that mean? I'm like I want like a specific type, and they'll, if they're like, no, it's too close, it has to be full body, and they always post like if you'll notice a young person, they'll they'll post like a picture of them like this, like they're always like covering their faces, which I'm like I need That's to see like your face. Thing. It's so weird. If you ever look, I'll send you some, and you can look at them. It's like I need to see because I guess it's I'm not- hilarious, and you're like, oh wow, I am not as cool as I thought I was. Great, awesome, just a professional photographer, but I don't know what I'm doing. But now I get it. Yeah. Literally, all I will do is I'll stand there. They put me like in position, and I'll just spam to death. Like I'm like with the phone, and and then and then and then they'll choose. They'll be like, "There's got to be one or two in there that are fine." I'm like, "Bam, okay." Because how old are they? Eighteen and fifteen. Yeah, my kids. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So it's I got to Listen, they're amazing. But the oldest going to college. Yes, going to Boulder. Yeah, in a month. Wow. I know. It's, it's a trip. Yeah. It's a trip. Like, that's thrown me for a loop. But I did get really involved on purpose and all this stuff this past year. So oh, I yeah. Could, like, you process you, it because yeah. I don't love change. And being their mom with my kids at home is, like, my favorite thing in the whole wide world. Yeah. So it's going to be different. But I'm just going to be, like, a hardcore Boulder mom from afar. And then oh. come for parents weekend and then come, you know. Oh, you're going to do all that? Oh, yeah. As much as they'll oh, let yeah. me. See, I mean, what I think is great, what I've seen you do, is you – Photograph all of the high school events. Yeah, well, <laughs> so you would volunteer for all of that because I was the, I was like the parent in charge. Because as as you mm-hmm. always say, if you want something done, ask a busy person. Yeah. And literally, they asked. They were like, "Do you think that you could like, you know, just like run the parent event thing?" And I was like, "Oh, sure." Not thinking. Oh no, it was and a it's- whole year of events. I don't know if they do this at every high school, but it was a massive schedule, and I had like thirty five amazing women and one amazing dad thanks kevin and um it was so fun we like planned all these fun events from the beginning of the year like senior sunrise to the very end of the year grad night at disney there were like 
parties you, you and events and all kinds of fun You could be a party things. planner now. Then Been there. That Been is, there, done it, it was, yeah. and it's a blast, and I loved it. Yeah. But like, you know, when you're an entrepreneur and you're getting started, I mean, the first couple of years I was shooting, I was working, doing event planning with my girlfriend, Stephanie, and then, and thank God, and then I was also... I worked a marketing job for a couple of years. Okay. You know, we've lived many of lives. Yes. As you know. Oh, yes. We I both know. have. So you were doing your photography, but you started a new little yes. side venture. I did indeed. I Okay, grab these. Yeah, I, I'm having fun with vintage patches and mm-hmm. making... Okay, so like I'm here to sell, as some. I said, and... I don't know something about these like I was I was like trucker hats yeah they're trucker hats yeah and I would find like vintage patches either at an antique store or at the Rose Bowl flea market like I'd be in like Los Feliz or somewhere cool and just find these cool patches and so I started putting them on hats because and they are out there like I've seen other things of course when I start doing it I must have seen it somewhere and gotten an idea because then I was like I'm starting to put them on cashmere sweaters. I'm starting to put them on luxury handbags and that kind of thing too. Oh. So it's going to be really fun. But I also am having a website built, which takes forever Um, when you're not like, I don't know how to do that stuff. So I'm hiring. But yes, it's fun. Do it. So, they are so fun. They're and they're fun. And the company is called Atlas Ranch. It Atlas was born Ranch. out yeah. of um my annual trip to Lake Tahoe with my girlfriends and – um, we oh, were there. Make I them made, all? Well, I made them all a hat last oh, year. Oh, that's so great. And they were like, and I made them like tailored to their personalities. Of course. Right? That's why it's so fun. Because typically what I do with these, I mean, I make a bunch just because I find cool patches and I like the way the colors go together. But then I will also make custom ones for people who well, like yeah, have a kid that's going that. to Boulder or they have, they're celebrating a whatever, or, you know, they, they like a specific band or like oh, literally yeah. anything. You oh, can make yeah. them for anything. And so, um, I made some for my girlfriends, and they were freaking out. And yeah, because they're weekend. amazing. I mean, they're well, really fun. They're all one of a kind and different and unique, and it's a it's a blast, right? Like, who doesn't love like a fun accessory? And they look good with everything. Like, yeah. I wear them all the time, and every time I wear them, I get so many compliments. Yeah. People stop but me all the time, Let and I'm see. like, okay. It's cute. And I wear a lot of trigger hats. I just do. Like, you always have. Yeah, I wear a lot of hats. I like hats. I'm a hat girl. And I this is exactly how I dress. I have like I'm I have fun jewels. I have you know, fun yeah. pennies and um and, and fun hats. And fun hats. Yeah. So you're gonna put them on so I'm, Atlas Ranch. Atlas Ranch. They're on and, they're on Instagram now and if you want to order a custom one, you certainly can. Oh, you just like DM me or something. Yeah. Yep, and they're on there, and um, but I also have like a big selection of things that are already made, already that, made on you know you can oh, choose that's from fun. too. Yeah, yeah, but they're they're a blast. I mean, it's a fun gift for someone else too. Yeah, like, I've had people buy them for birthday presents for people, and um, it's that's a fun really thing to fun. like whip out of and you know you're on vacation or whatever, and they're so cute. I mean, I wear them with overalls or bikinis or whatever. It goes and, with your photography. Yes, it does. Yeah, I get to do all the brand photography for it and um it's it's really been fun it allows me to be creative in a different way yeah just because i'm someone who like always has to be doing something so uh yeah apparently apparently having like a big schedule and a loaded you know roster of photography jobs isn't enough because i i don't know you just wanted to mix it up yeah i love that it's fun i love that okay so what do you feel like is next but okay you said this is happening this and then the photography wise i have to do Prints are coming. And I mean large format prints. So they're going to be things that would take up. Like, like this. That, that's one of Gray Mailing yes, over there. Yes. I mean, that's a huge one. I yes. don't even know how big that like is. Like at least that size. Like I'm starting that's, there. And I, I have smaller ones too. Yeah. I like a big size. I like a big, huge piece of statement art. And I have a lot of friends in Malibu who have beautiful homes. That yeah. Have, have large space. And, large, you yeah. know. And um, and not only that, I have a lot of friends who are in real estate who yeah. dress beautiful homes and... Um, so it's, it's definitely like, there's a million photographers out there and there's a lot of amazing art out there, but I have a big collection of stuff that either from Uganda or from like all over the world that I just want to be able to share. Um, and, and what is it mostly like people mostly, I mean, I have landscapes and stuff too. It oh, but it depends on what it is, but a lot of them are people. You want to do the people. Yeah. It's not going to be like a gray thing i mean like some of them are but i really like to find i i find the beauty in the juxtaposition of life so whether it's like a rusty motorcycle laden with fruit like i have this one with with like 
all this fruit and a beautiful African backdrop. Like, you know, that's it to me. It was just really pretty. And I happened to capture it or like a beautiful woman that I have sort of national geographic vibe from Uganda since I'm thinking about it. And she had this beautiful gold like head wrap on and these piercing eyes. And it was just like magical. But I also have everything from like the California coastline to Georgia things to like, you know, everywhere, New York. I mean, it just depends on what it is. But I like to find the high, low, the balance, the mix of things. I just think that's interesting and and gives like a, I don't know, a patina or like a a warmth to an otherwise kind of static picture. Oh, so you I've never seen that side. Yeah, I'll have to show it to you. I know you're gonna what are you gonna do? Or you wanna create like a I think I'm gonna have on the website I'll probably have prints for sale on the Atlas Ranch website and then I'll do them in series so that like they'll be released, you know? Oh yeah. And then I wanna do a show. Like I need to do a show in Malibu because one of my friends who has the Tracy Park Gallery in Malibu, she's got amazing artwork in there and we've been talking about me doing a show for a long time so okay well, to well get it together when are we going to give you a deadline what's nothing's done without a deadline so true my god this is what it's like this I is what it's like think, being my friend i know thank god <laughs> thank god for that it's so inspiring i mean um i think i probably need to allow myself to move my kid to college yep. and get in that get in the flow of that and then it's like senior portrait season, family portrait season right before. So it's probably going to be, I don't know. Is it going to be the new year or is it going to be before the new year? Like that's my problem. That's where the ADHD comes in. Like for real. No, just say it. It is so serious. Just say one date. I think you should say by February 1st. Okay. See, that's reasonable. Okay. Let's do it. I'm in. Okay. And we'll be there. I'm sweating. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's just. <sighs> okay. Yeah. No, I know. Let's do it. But you have to do it. Yeah. You're okay. right. I do. Okay. So you're going to do that, and then you'll have your hats there. Yeah. And some sweaters. These are going to happen potentially sooner. Uh, Yeah, we've got a lot of people wanting to do a lot of things. You had a pop-up at a... I did a pop-up at Alice Alice and Olivia in Beverly Hills, which was amazing. They were super wonderful to me. Stacey's been so supportive, and it's been great. And then... They're also at James Purse in Malibu. Which of course, is a big there's your, deal. one of your friends and too. I mean, how incredible! You have the best friends. I really do. Yes, I really do. Yes, yeah. I'm incredibly blessed and fortunate, and I'm so thankful. Like the people in my life, I, I couldn't the, be more blessed. It hasn't always been this way. It's been a long road, but as with anything worthwhile, it was you know yeah. It took well, a while. What, what do you want to go into that? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> sure, I can. I mean, I just think okay. I think that because it took you a minute, yeah, in a minute, and yeah, you moved here in 2011. Yes, and well, I I think it even goes back further because I I lost my dad when I was a teenager. I was 16 when my dad passed away, and this is probably also part of the photography journey that um I I don't have enough pictures of him, and I think capturing yeah. those it's moments like, i'm yeah. like i want all this and my mom always gives me a hard time when we're together about taking a picture but i'm like i'm doing it yeah i don't sorry what you say i mean my grandmother passed last year and i was like thankful that i had pictures of like i made my whole family oh yeah taking pictures because it's important oh, yeah i mean i treasure them i really do um but i think that losing i lost my dad my grandpa my uncle in the span of like a year and a half Whoa. And knowing like nothing is permanent and uh, you know and you have to kind of hold on to your memories as the best you can. And my grandmother who passed had dementia and I'm just like, that could run in my family. And not only am I trying to do all the things to combat that and be healthy, but also capture as much as I can for, for their sake, but also for mine. So I remember it when I'm old. (laughs) Oh my gosh. You'll have to listen to the podcast we just did before about health. I mean, don't worry. (laughs) We're going to keep you in healthy. No, no, it's not going to happen. Okay. But so, when you were saying you moved here. Yeah. So I think, so I think I moved here, but we were also, my husband was in the mortgage business. And so his business was like, had crashed. We were struggling for a while. I mean, yeah. it was a tough uphill climb and really. Why'd y'all move here first? Because of the mortgage business. Oh, oh, to be out here. That's yeah. Why. Cause he was, it was like, while it was all crashing and it felt so surreal. Like we were like that yeah, family. 2008. Like it was insane. Yeah. Like the stories. Woo. But I had young kids, and so when he got the opportunity out here, he came out for six months by himself before because I was like, I'm not moving them across the country unless it's going to be like, unless it's going to stick because things were just dropping left and right. And so he worked for Citibank for a while, and 
he was doing things on the side. He'd always done like consulting and that kind of thing on the side. And then he ended up doing consulting after all the mortgage stuff. Finally, like he was like, I'm done. I'm going to go do consulting full time. And then he did at this one company and his first like major job, they were like, please don't ever leave. So he's been doing, he's been the CEO of that job since. But I think me having to like step in and really step up and hustle and work hard for my kids and realize like, and I also love working and I wanted to. Um, and he was so supportive and being able to like just do multiple things, figure it out. It was such a a journey and I was able to do things that were creative and have friends support me and uplift me and give me opportunities to like do things. Um, I just got really lucky, but also I worked really hard. And I think yeah, as with anything, it's like that's what you have to do. But um I'm grateful that I have a little wiggle room now and I'm able to, you know, really say yes to yeah, because, that are Because if Dave did, like, it was it was struggling. Yeah. 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 It took With a while. Not, like, yeah. To find. Now he has an amazing, amazing position. Yeah. Yes. Thank God. Yeah. Thank At God. the vet. It's a game changer. Yeah. It's that we go yep. to now. Yeah. Yep. It's great. Yeah. And that, again, is like, it's people. I mean, you find the right people in your life. It is like a key unlocks a door and you're just like, okay. Wow. And because the people that, you know, and I would do the same for them. And I always shout my friends out whenever I can because they do the same for me. I mean, my yeah. name is, you, you see that quote of like, get friends that like would whisper what, your name in rooms when you're not there. Yes. Whatever it is. And, and talk so high, you important. Know, talk about you and yeah. As you do. Yeah. Well, I try. That's you my do. favorite. That's my favorite thing. But. It's the best. Yeah. And I think that's a, whim, a woman thing too. Well, Largely. I mean, I love men too, but I'm just saying women supporting women, supporting women, women are huge. Yeah. It's major. And um, so it's been a, an amazing journey and I'm so grateful for every step because honestly, like the struggle and the years of like crying on the kitchen floor when you don't know how you're going to make ends meet really like keeps that, it digs that deeper well to be able to love from and to be able to create from and to be able to um, really operate from it and to really have empathy for other people who are in a, you know different positions in life oh yeah what i mean yeah i mean yeah. <laughs> been there it takes the ego away yes that's, it does it's completely yes. eliminated it and that's good i don't i don't, I don't know. we don't need any of we that we don't need it no we don't that's need it like, yuck, listen, vibes. we are we are dressed and cute and pretty and and we're in fancy la but at the same time like we can get down and dirty and get to work whenever we need to oh yeah so yeah we you got you know because you, yours you're you get sweaty i do having to like run around I with do. the photos i love to carry all my stuff i love to get in the ocean and then i'm always like I'm oh you're like running in your i'm i'm in the <laughs> sand i'm yeah i gotta get the shot man yeah you gotta get the, <laughs> the things i put my clients through sometimes oh my god to get the shot gotta yeah. do it i yeah. mean it's worth it well i'm excited to see your your show yeah, well, I'm those, excited to those, see yours too someday. Those, oh, well, well, we're, well <laughs> yeah, coming I'll, soon. I'll invite you um, for yeah. sure, of course. Oh, of Everyone's course. Everyone's invited. Yeah, the whole, it's going to be. The whole team. It'll be so fun. It'll be fun. Yeah, yeah, I'm excited. And I mean, cannot thank you enough for all your support. Oh, literally, I love you. It, it's, I love you too. It means the absolute world to me. And um, I'm so grateful to be here and be a part of this. Yes. Well, I just wanted to have you on and you. and show the world like all this. But it's really, it's really your energy. That's well, really, that's really the. I mean, the photographs always turn out beautiful, and that, you're so you're right. It you're is so helpful, and 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 you're always like, oh, okay, well, I can get this one done yeah. for you, or you're never like, I don't want to. You know how some artists are like, this is my way or the highway. No, yeah, you're not like that. You're, because I don't have ego in the. Yeah, you're just like. Oh, you want to change that one? Great. You want to do that? Yeah, yeah. you're very easy going because about it's it. Like when it's like a when it's like a, a client, when it's photos of you, you have to love it. I, yeah. I want you to love it. Otherwise, I didn't do my job. And I honestly feel so strongly about that. Like, I'll change whatever and make sure if you're not happy, let's do it again. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. But I want to make it right. But make it right. But then also your high vibes and your positivity when you're there yes. make people feel happy and comfortable i think there's a like there's a million photographers and they all take amazing work but that really ultimately mm -hmm. is like do you feel comfortable with that person is it fun because it should be fun like yeah. we're taking pictures it's not like we're doing you know open heart surgery let's no. be real yeah not to say they're not important they are but it should be enjoyable yeah and it's fun and like <laughs> you could even get clark to like oh my gosh like, 
<laughs> well, he's he was a model, so I mean, he he really can. But he'll be like, oh, okay, it's Molly. It's fine. Okay, he's okay. so fine. He, he's he's, and I'm grateful to have <laughs> rapport with my clients and with their families and get to take yes. pictures of them year after year. It's like it's so special. Yeah, it really is. It's not lost on me for a second. I mean, I got the the rooms I get to go in and the things I get to do because yeah. of it. It's just that's special. It's so fun. I mean, yeah. it's the absolute best. And I didn't even ever consider doing it as a career like until someone said to me by the way you should do this like they gave me permission basically and I was like what I'd never even me and then it was like oh yes yes, yes, me. yes. And it was like okay wow let's do this thing I didn't I don't you know it just took a little growing up and going through it and working and learning and I know you yeah. got to learn like the process. But yeah, you you've done it. Thanks, babe. Yeah, it's okay. So fun. Well, I'm so happy you were here. Thank you for having me. I know. Okay, where can everybody find you? They can find me on Instagram at Molly Marler Photography. It's M O L L Y M A R L E R Photography. I'm also on like all the things. Yeah, TikTok. I promise that TikTok. I'm gonna get no. it going. I can- <laughs> it's funny. Yeah, you might cringe uh, or or do follow me. Make my teenagers jealous. It'll be so fun. <laughs> They're teenagers. I mean, they are funny. Yeah, we're about to go on a little road trip. We're going to Nashville and we're going to Atlanta, and I'm gonna be TikTok. Oh, I can't. Pictures. I'll follow. Yeah, I'll follow along that journey. Yeah, I love it. Please do. Okay, thanks for being on. Thanks love for you. having me, babe. Okay. I love you too Bye. so much. <laughs> Thank you. I'm Shelton Wilder, and welcome to Wilder Possibilities Podcast, where each episode follows an entrepreneur's journey into the transformative power of that light bulb moment where everything clicks. I call that the click. Those pivotal points that redefine our futures, illuminate paths to success, and even change the world. Now let's get wilder.